What are igneous gold deposits? Igneous gold deposits are a type of gold deposit that form within igneous rocks, which are rocks that solidify from molten or partially molten material. These types of deposits are relatively uncommon compared to other types of gold deposits, such as those that form in sedimentary rocks, but they can still be economically important sources of gold. Igneous gold deposits can form in a variety of igneous rocks, including intrusive rocks, rocks that solidify below the Earth's surface, and extrusive rocks, rocks that solidify on the Earth's surface. The gold in these deposits can occur in a variety of forms, including native gold, gold that occurs as pure metal, and gold-bearing minerals such as pyrite, arsenopyrite, and tellurides. There are several different processes by which igneous gold deposits can form. One common process is known as hydrothermal activity, which involves the circulation of hot fluids through the cracks and fissures in igneous rocks. These fluids can transport gold and other minerals, depositing them in veins or fractures in the rock. Another process by which igneous gold deposits can form is through the melting and remobilization of gold-bearing rocks. This can occur when an igneous intrusion, such as a magma chamber, comes into contact with gold-bearing rocks, causing the gold to melt and be transported by the magma. The gold can then be deposited in veins or other structures within the igneous rock. Igneous gold deposits can be difficult to explore for and mine due to their complex geology and the presence of other minerals that may make processing the ore more challenging. However, when these deposits are found and can be economically extracted, they can be highly valuable sources of gold. One example of an igneous gold deposit is the Red Lake Gold Mine in Ontario, Canada, which is one of the highest grade gold mines in the world and has produced over 25 million ounces of gold since its discovery in 1925. How are igneous gold deposits formed? Igneous gold deposits are formed through various geological processes that involve the movement of molten rock, magma, and hydrothermal fluids within the Earth's crust. These deposits are generally associated with intrusive and volcanic rocks, which are formed from the solidification of molten material within the Earth's crust. One common process by which igneous gold deposits are formed is through hydrothermal activity. This involves the circulation of hot fluids, usually containing high concentrations of gold, through the cracks and fissures in igneous rocks. As the fluids cool and lose pressure, they deposit the gold and other minerals within fractures or veins in the rock. These deposits are often found in association with large mineralized systems that may contain other metals such as copper, silver, and lead. Another way igneous gold deposits can form is through the melting and remobilization of gold-bearing rocks. This can happen when gold-bearing rocks come into contact with magma chambers, causing the gold to melt and become transported by the magma. The magma can then deposit the gold in veins or other structures within the igneous rock. Igneous gold deposits can also form from the cooling and crystallization of magma itself. As magma cools and solidifies, it can trap and concentrate gold and other minerals within the resulting igneous rock. These deposits are often found in association with large intrusive bodies such as batholiths or stocks, which can be several kilometers in size. The formation of igneous gold deposits is a complex process that can involve many different geological factors such as the chemistry and temperature of the magma, the pressure and temperature of hydrothermal fluids, and the structures and properties of the surrounding rocks. Understanding these factors is critical for the successful exploration and mining of these deposits, which can be economically valuable sources of gold. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.